Hi, I'm a regular person. I'm average in the kitchen, but I know a lot about nutrition. I'm going to embark on making a McDonald's cheeseburger, but healthy. What do I mean by healthy? Less calories, no gluten, and not industrial sludge that is mass produced and has a shelf life longer than me. And the most important thing, can I get it to taste as good? Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna get my husband to do a blind taste test, to which he is brutally honest. Let's do it. The cheeseburger. Squished as usual. Appetizing. What even is a cheeseburger? Let's just take a look. We have a base patty. Contains like three onion pieces. We got the burger patty squished with cheese. Smeared sauce and mustard on the top. This one is pickleless. This is rare. This is like a four leaf clover. It's supposed to have pickles. This is the tiniest, thinnest, kind of grossest looking piece of meat I ever got the privilege to lay eyes on. I really would like to pull this cheese off because I want to weigh the beef. Get off. Picking this cheese off is not very effective. <laughs> this is super gross. 35 grams. 35 grams? That's an absolute outrage. 35 grams is very little beef, meaning very little protein, which is one of the most important macros. Wow. What are you eating in this burger? Not meat. 105 gram cheeseburger, 300 calories, give or take. The goal is to get ours under 300 calories. Let's start with the bun. I'm gonna embark on making the buns from a box. Pre-made buns are not gonna contain all the preservatives and additives that store-bought buns are gonna contain. So ideally, they're better for you. With that being said, Macca's cheeseburger bun, bad. Homemade fresh bun, good. I need the box. Large bowl. Combine yeast and warm water. Whew, wow, yeast smells weird. I'm just gonna keep stirring until dissolved. Add oil. Olive oil feels like a good oil to use. It's not crap oil. Vegetable oils, not good. It's like industrial sludge, don't eat it. Olive oil, cha-ching. One, two, bread mix doesn't look like what they do on MasterChef. This is purely how I got guns. Make sure you stir with both arms though, because, well, no. Nope. Don't stir with both arms. Wow, I haven't done this kind of thing since I was a child. Put that there. Put dough on bench. Wow, this is gross. We are far from smooth. I don't suppose more flour fixes it. All right, we've got this. Cut your dough in half or cut them into small chunks little dough balls. Should they be wrinkly? Place them onto a lined tray. Cover with a tea towel. Then we'll be back to uh, continue the buns. The buns are gluten-free because I am gluten-free. If you were to use gluten-containing buns, homemade is always gonna be better. If you do choose to use store-bought buns, I'd recommend checking for sugar content and number of ingredients. 50 minutes later. They're quite small. Brush them with oil. I am a chef. I can do this. These are gonna turn out better than I anticipate, even though they look like tiny little rocks with butt cracks. We're gonna move on to the meat. McDonald's beef is just labeled as beef, so it really could be anything from anywhere. Feels like a cheap way to say, we've put whatever we want in this, we've sourced the meat from who knows where in the world, and you're eating it. To make the beef patty, we're gonna use just straight beef. I'm a meat lover of the organic grass-fed sustainability variety for the large nutritional value it holds. Organic grass-fed beef contains more nutrients than grain-fed cows, and is considered one of the best protein sources. For the sake of minimizing calories, I have organic grass fed lean beef. Because it is pure beef, I'm not gonna add anything else. Usually when I make patties, I'd add an egg or something, but that's gonna change the nutritional value. What happens if I squish it like that? Cool, I like that. If you can have a burger, if you want it to be nutritious, you need the protein. That's exciting. I hope these patties hold. That'll be a problem if not. Let's cook these patties. Patties. This is problematic. These are micro buns. In hindsight, bigger ones, that would have been a great idea, but no. Cute. It actually, it smells good. I was so close, but it's so small. When in doubt, I have something else. Unfortunately, due to the homemade bun sizing issue, I've decided to downgrade to store-bought buns, which are also gluten-free and do contain some preservatives. However, I do believe they are still better than the McDonald's bun, which contains a lot more sugar, calories, and preservatives in comparison. These actually look like burger buns. Look, gluten-free looks a little bit sad, but what can you do? Now I need to toast these rolls. Onion cutting time. Um, I, to be honest, dislike onion. What I really dislike is cutting it because it always makes me cry. And I just really hate crying. And then it makes your hands smell funny forever. My goal here is to not cry. Ti 
tiny pieces. I need like face goggles. Really light toasting of onion, which I would hope is the same as McDonald's, unless they don't use locally grown produce, which is very likely. Ow, 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 ow. I got distracted and burnt my buns. I've got a plethora of buns here. Burger assembly, burger bun, onion, patty, cheese. Melt the cheese. Too much cheesy melt. Pickles, too tight pickles. That's a note from me. Oh, why do I work out? Yay, thank you very much. One pickle, two pickles, some sauce, mustard. I found this regular Heinz one bought at the grocery store, which has minimal ingredients. Mustard first, and then tomato sauce. I have better for you tomato sauce because it's better for you, and this is healthier version. It has less than a gram of sugar, all natural ingredients, plant-based, keto-friendly, blah, blah, blah. It tastes really good. Then we top it off. Mine, decent sized burger, McDonald's, tiny burger. Taste test time. We're gonna actually put it to the test here. This is my husband. You're not gonna know which you are going which to. Is which I cannot see can I just, part. can I just feed it to you? That's a massive burger. You're not supposed to get. I can just go. It just feels like sugary toy bread. This tastes like a toy from my childhood. This is not real. There's nothing real about it. Right, you just don't know which they are. I could be wrong. Open wide. The meat is a lot crispier. The bread is like doughier. It definitely tastes healthier. Donald's burger is just such a, like 11 out of 10 flavor. Whereas this one you can tell it's a bit more dialed back. It's a bit more reasonable. So was that correct? Yes, that was correct. So Mac is first, yes, 100% sugar bread. Second one, healthier version. What do you reckon? Is it the Mac's cheeseburger, but healthy? This flavor is like an eight out of 10. So it's like not quite there, but it was really close. Well, I'll take that as a win. It's 80% is good. 80% is good. All right, I'll take it. What an awesome test. I'm not gonna eat this cause um, I might die. I'll have a bite of this one. Oh yeah, that is good. That tastes like a cheeseburger. It's hard to compare because this flavor, the Macca's burger is so intensely sweet. I should have given you the other one first. That's true actually. Yeah, it would have tasted better without having all that sugar first. That's 100% a win. Cool, cool, cool. The results. Let's look at the numbers. Here we have the nutritional information of the McDonald's burger versus mine. My burger is bigger, but when normalized for weight, it has 42% less calories than the McDonald's cheeseburger. That is almost half the calories. Size for size, my burger has more protein, less carbohydrates, less sugar, less fats, no trans fats, less preservatives, and more nutrients, and tastes 80% as good. Or in my opinion, 100% as good, if not better. Which would you choose? In conclusion, we made a healthier cheeseburger. It was easier to make than I had originally thought. Save yourself some calories and chemicals and make it at home. Fast food bad, slow food good. If you like this video, subscribe. Also, go check out this video on the screen right now. It was really challenging, but a lot of fun. So click the link right here and go watch it now. Go on. Click it. This isn't, this isn't a photo.